Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a, another little package in the mail. It's from my mates at Collectivision over in Canada and it's some more ColecoVision homebrews. Now there's actually three in this box. Uh, the first two uh, are by a um, coder called Klaus, I think his first name is. Um, and he's from the Memotech MTX um, you know, 500 side of the camp. Um, and he brought out previously, I've got his other title, his Games Collection Volume 1, which was a collection of, um, of three games. And then he's brought a follow-up out to that. So he's doing much better than me. Uh, games Collection Volume 2, with another three games. We've got Nemo, Astro Pack, and Obloids or something. Very nice looking packaging. So he's converted these across from the Memotech computer. So one looks a bit like Jetpack, a Maze one, and not sure about the one with the green and orange there, that's the Nero one. Looks quite interesting. So my camera has a spaz attack. Quick look inside. So what you know, as usual, really good high quality production from Collectivision. So matching the previous one, I'm sure that was a silver cartridge as well. So we have the um, you know the Memotech MTX logo there. Ah, ah. Come on, camera. There we go. Go put them in an angle. That's better. At least it was in focus for a second. And we should have a manual in here. Being very careful. Don't want to put a mark in them. So there's the manual there. There's a little bit of a. MTX memo tech on the back there. Good basic. And we have some nice colourful instruction manual. A little bit of historical stuff on each game. As I drop the instruction manual. So I'll be most interested to have a play of that one. Um, now also, the next game is also by Klaus. And but this is a new title. I'm not sure whether he can. I, I think he. It's either it was a game, so it might have been an existing MTX game as well. Uh, but he spent quite a bit of time working on it. Um, it took a little while to convert. It's called Super Minefield. Um, so ah, oh, come on, camera. So you get from one side of the minefield to the other without being blown up. Not all the mines are visible, so you've got a several tricks to it, and I think there's quite a few different um, mine layouts. Be very careful there. And we have a nice green cartridge for this one. There we go. Worked it had a trick. It is Klaus, there we go, it's got his name on the bottom of it. <laughs> so the original game was by Ed Hollinghead, Hollingshead, and, he's, and Klaus has converted it. Um, Klaus and I were in contact whilst he was doing this. We did these conversions at, you know, a fair while ago. And he said he's done very well getting all these conversions done. So we've got the cover art repeated again on the manual. Really nice printing actually. Camera's not doing it justice. A bit simpler manual this time, just a single bifold in the back section. So it'll be very good to try out both of those games and give them a go. Now there's one more title in here, and this one's a very special one that took quite a while for the guys to put together, and they had to get agreement from um, Atari to release this and it is the limited Pong and um, computer space box set. So there on the front of the box we have the original Pong and the original computer space cabinets. So it's got this outer case and then the two games are in the inner sleeve. That's where you're getting a lot of reflection. You can see the two inner titles there. Now I'll just really carefully 
open this up. He's being very careful here. Let's turn that around. So I'm going to try and leave the plastic on the rest of the box just to pr protect it since it's got the plastic on it. There we go. So now I should be able to take out the two. So we have this outer sleeve and in here a little bit of encouragement. We have our two box sets. So the first one that came out is Pong. So each one has its own box and cover. So it's not just boring old Pong there, it's actually got quite a few um, game variations on it. Both of the cartridges do, so a lot of work went into these. Um, I have seen another video on it. So here's computer space. And there we go, we've got the original very basic computer space graphics there. But once again, there are multiple game modes. And let's see what the um, cartridges are like. Right, so our computer space cartridge is blue. Dark blue in colour. And we've got our manual. Once again, I'll put all these back together later. So I've got actually some slightly different shots on the front there. And we have the box, the, the picture from the front of the box there. And quite good detailed instructions. There's obviously several different control things you can do. And a bit of history as well. So all very good quality um, put together. Okay, now the Pong is yellow. Not much we could do with the label with a Pong, I suppose. And we have the, um, the manual. There's something else in the Pong box as well. So, here's the Pong manual. So it's got a bit of a menu in there where you can slip the different game types. Um, and as well, more things in here as well. We have a little flyer saying it's a tribute and everything like that. And you can actually download a ROM set as well. Blank that bit out. Um, and um, we have the history of computer space and Pong as well. So, a nice little booklet. It was actually really nice to have as well. So, a really good set. Unfortunately, um, well, I would check. They may actually still have some sets available in the higher numbers uh, left over. So, it wouldn't hurt, you know, if you are interested in this set to go and check. And I think the other two titles, they may still have some copies available as well. They also did some loose cartridge runs of some of the titles they've released recently. So if you've missed out on a box copy, you might be able to get um, the uh, you know a loose cartridge. They're not going to do that for the Pong and Computer Space because that was uh, limited to a specific number uh, by their agreement with Atari as well. Um, but that's a really good quality set. So we'll you know have a game have a go at all of those games and see what they're like and um, yeah great to get some new homebrew for the Coleco once again right so here we go with Memotech MTX game collection volume 2 so we have Nemo, Obloids, Astro Pack, the Lost Levels uh, so these are all uh, originally Memotech MTX games uh, written by various people uh, converted by Klaus Backel um, and um, yeah, let's go and have a look. So Nemo, I have no idea what the games are about. 
uh, press fire harpoon the descending sharks before they eat you beware the floating mines um, deadly electronic eels and the lethal patrolling land crab we have five ships with a limitless supply of harpoons it's always good when the sharks are put on the screen they change into man like Nemoids, which can travel on land as well as on sea. Electric eels may choose to electrify any part of the sea. Okay, if you clear the coastline, you move on to another stretch of shore. Okay, a bit more thing. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay. So, right, so it's a bit like a um, centipede clone. But you have some you know, stuff coming at you from below, or, or maybe even a um, uh, grid runner as well. Okay, there's. So you only got to get all the black ones. Okay. Got some interesting character effects. You can watch those ones coming up from behind. So it's mostly a bit like Grid Runner, but which is a bit like Centipede as well. Got some interesting little graphical effects going on. I mean, obviously most of the, oh dear, most of the um, uh, enemy animation is character based. coming from behind. Oh, no lives left. Oh, okay, so I still can't write. That so just means I've got no bonus lives left. So you to watch that guy when he goes white. It's really those things coming up behind me that are causing a nice problem. So there's the first title, so yeah, we might have had a couple of glitches there. I, this is one of my two ColecoVisions, the house, which might be a little bit funny. Alright, let's try the next game on the cartridge. Right, so we'll try Obloids this time. Nine screen, looking for a power box. Once you have got it, change colour and you must go to an outside cell near the bar box. So it's a bit of an adventure game. In each screen, there are three obloid monsters who will chase you and scratch. You want to be perfect. Yeah, after so many scratches, you'll die. Okay. Three by three screen areas. Okay. We've got a few different things. Joystick to move. And we've got uh, throw the ball, left fire button. Okay. Ash. Okay, so that throws a ball, and then you can catch it again. The maze is changing.
So you've obviously got to, oh, I haven't quite worked out, oh, what determines how the uh, maze changes, yeah? Oh, just missed out on that. Oops. Oh, okay, so it doesn't kill you instantly anyway. Bits are randomly changing, and I think I can change, yeah there we go, by holding the right button down you can change the direction of some of the ones. barbed wire then. Oh, I just realised I've been trying to get towards a boundary uh, that's roped off, which was a bit silly. I'll wait for that one to turn around. I don't think you've got any control over the direction of the things when you're in one of these things. Alright, well you can see what it is, it's a bit of a maze puzzle here, there we go, I think we've got a good now. Um, a maze puzzle game. Let's try the um, third game. Right, let's try Astro Pack. Get as many treasures as you can, manoeuvre with your Astro Pack rocket unit. I think this might be a bit of a jetpack clone. Yeah. So you can shoot the rocks. And you need to take the everything down to the um, spaceship. And this is oxygen. Whoops! Ow. Basically, you've got to get enough fuel units to fuel the ship up, and then you go to the next level. So this one, and you've got slightly different platforms. Whoops. Whoops. in the corner so yeah not a bad lot of um, games all right let's have a look at the next title here we go with super minefield uh, little intro there so I think you've, you've got to go through from one side of the minefield to the other oops 
and it's a bit like um, the minefield game on, um, on on Windows. You've got to keep a look at you know how many mines are nearby. Let's try again. So nearby mine zero. Zero. Ooh, two. Hopefully one either side. Okay, and you get from one side to the other and I think you get a bonus for each of the ones you manage to collect on the way. to the next level. Number two, visible mines, invisible zines, so lots of mines. Oops. So I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, when you get one life. So I'll give that another go. Just is a little distracting. My Coleco decided this TV keeps on playing up all the time, and it's decided to go black and white on me at the moment. But oops, don't um, again. Collect checked my feed behind me, and it's coming out in colour. So you're getting it in glorious colour, just not me. <laughs> CRT mostly works. I just have some issues with it. And I said normally, um, oops, I have the click on the other side of the room, but I got it working on this side of the room. Oh. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a, one of those games that can. You need to be very. Um, careful. You know, there's probably a system you can work out. I'm not sure whether you can mark mines as you can. Once again, maybe I should have read the instructions. Right, so there's no mines around me, so none of them... So obviously that one over there was, no, there's two now. So just because there's a path there doesn't mean that there's a um, a spot free. Take, it takes a little bit of um thing to get into. Alright, we'll have one more go and then we'll move on to the next game. play with that one later after I've read the instructions. There's probably other things I'm supposed to be looking at. Alright, let's try the next game. Okay, now here we go with Computer Space, the first title in the um, collection, the Computer Space Pong collection, and it's done by Kiwi, a very well-known guy in um, the ColecoVision community, and very much a master of the system. So, excuse me while I turn around. Yes, you're definitely seeing it in colour. I'm still having TV problems. Um, Quick little adjustment, and now I can see it in colour. Stupid TV. Anyway, so we, we have on this one, we've got original game and deluxe game. So, um, I know there's quite a few items on the Pong one, so we'll go through this. So this is what computer space used to look like originally. Okay, so, oh, okay. Dotty ships. Solid ships. Hash. Okay, one button thrust. Oh, ah, missed. You go off one side. Of, go off one side of the thing, and you've got to be momentum going in. You don't stop like. Ah. Oh. And you 
can play this two. Oops! Oh, got me. You can play this on two players as well. Oh, God, that was close. Oh. Well, the computer player is definitely winning. I'm not doing very well. And you die when you crash into them too. shot at a time too, so you have to be very careful when you choose to fire. And then change direction. Hey, I got one! Ah, right, but if you move, you can actually control the direction of your bullets. Yeah, so this is trying to simulate as close as possible the original computer spaces experience. Okay, let's try go in here, um, and you can do solid chips as well, but we'll go in and we'll try the deluxe credit mode, deluxe mode. Right, so obviously we've got more detailed sprites. Just a look here, it's all nicely in colour for you, as my stupid TV has packed in the um, ghost again. So you you basically, you've got to chase the. Um, and you can you can change the direction of your bullets. And you've got to deal with momentum. Ah, oh, don't I get to kill him too? So it's a, definitely a very good um, tribute to the original computer space game and on the Coleco Vision. All right, let's try the Pong box. So we have a nice Kiwi logo and Atari. We have so we have Arcade Pong, Super Wall Ball, Sports, and Sports Deluxe. So we've got a few to go through here. So we'll go through. So this is the same as the arcade game. So basically. Uh, it's probably two player only. Okay, you press the hash to go back to the menu. Not much use playing a two player game with only one person here. I think you might be able to turn a. Um, shall I just go in there again? Alright, HD graphics, colour set, single paddle, double paddle, triple paddle, wide paddle, small paddle, ends at one point, ends at 15 point. graphics, colourless, single panel. Okay, press. So colourless, colour set one, colour set two. I quite like that one. HD graphics, blocky graphics, uh, single paddle, double paddle. Alright, we'll go with that. There we go. You still need Still need two players to play that one, that's the only trouble. Alright, so there, that's all the options in that one. So obviously that's a you know a tribute to the original Pong. So Super Wall Ball. Now this one you have to try and um, hit the um So there are hidden things you can get as well, and you get one point for every time you hit the blue thing. And then you've got, ooh, also, yeah, it's a bit like Arkanoid, you get, you know, special things that come up. No, I'm not going to need that. Go. So now we've got some blocks behind us. 
I take it. He got him. There we go. So this is, you know, not a bad little game in itself. Got the bonus points there, and I think. So you know, a fun little game. All right. Well, go back to the main menu. So Super War Ball. So you know, it's not bad having so many. So sports. So in sports, we've got tennis, hockey, basketball, and pinball. So this is the one where you've got to try and score. A goal, like get it through the, the defence there. So once again, two player. Uh, okay, star goes back. We'll just go in again, just to see whether there's any other options. No. So hockey. So you've got smaller goals. You know, reminiscent of all of the different pong variations you can get on the different pong machines, and basketball, where you've got to try and get the ball over into the other person's basket like that uh, pinball where it's still pong but you've got different targets and things to hit and um, you have to try and get it through that thin um, space at the back there right so go back to the main menu you know, so he's put a lot of effort into all these different versions now, and then you've got Sports Deluxe. So tennis, as you can see, is a proper full-on uh, tennis game. Now I don't believe it has a computer player for any of them though, so they are, you know, it is a pure, um, you know, two-player thing. So it's not a strict, you know, uh, tennis game over the. Um, over the net and everything like that with shots and serving, it still is a pong game. But it's just got that extra little um, details there. So let's see what hockey's like. So similar thing, but it just makes it a bit more fun because we have you know have some goals and things like that. There we go. We've got one in the net. Basketball. And <laughs> we've got little jetpacks. <laughs> and you can go. Yeah, you can go pretty much all over the play for this one. Here we go. Own goal. No. Still not didn't go into the goal. But they're, you know, they're quite interesting little games. Let's see what the deluxe pinball is like. So, once again, same game, just with graphics that are made a bit more fancy, that's all. Need a bit of, oops. So I'm not sure about A pretty thin space over there. And there we go, I got one somehow. Alright, well, it's a very good um, little collection, some nice um, homebrews. It's always nice seeing new homebrews coming out for the ColecoVision. Um, I believe, uh, some, I'm not sure about the computer space box set, whether there's any of those left because they were a strict. A strict number of um, that were supposed to produce. There might be some of the MTX Classics and the Super Minefield still available. Um, if not in um, boxed form, then they should potentially be some loose cart just cartridge form as well, which is a bit cheaper. Uh, but to check them out, go to the Collectivision website and um, and you know get some homebrew games for your Coleco. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and these gameplays. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll catch you all later. Thank you.